Abandoned 50 floor in Jimmy Just me. Just me. All these bitches right. mad at me. <laughs> if I pull the mic closer, is that a problem? Like if I Hey To the college kids, no scholarships starting your semester. Unpacking your suitcases, filling up your dresser. Enjoy it while you got it. After that, it's God bless you. Life is your professor. Know that bitch is gone. All right, man, welcome back to another episode of the Almost Dropouts, man. Still in school with this shit. I be, like, wondering, like, where we gonna be at during the summer. Anyways, I'm Kai, your host, <laughs> and I'm joined with... Yeah, no, okay. A.K.A. The Blazing, A.K.A. OG Phil, A.K.A. Mr. Too True. We yeah, had I mean. that one. What you mean? Too True? Yeah, yeah, been been, yeah, been that, been yeah, that, been that, um, been that. Text your shit, man. Yeah. Then got uh, me, uh, Nia Paul. When the last time I've been on here? I missed like the last like four. You ain't been on this bitch since January. Like, no, nah, it's got to be December. We going to drop it. Cause I remember, nah, the one I miss, the one I miss is with that 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 that. How am I gonna say the N word? I'm trying to keep it real yeah, yeah, yeah. nice. That man and I was in Oregon and. Let's let's he's let's, beautiful. let's we just we Did just. You see this? Clipped and dipped. Listen. You can't clip that. We're glad to have you back. That's that's what I gotta say. We're glad to have you back. And you know we got we got a special guest today. Yeah, man. You said what? Never mind. Go ahead. I just gotta do my introduction, man. Y'all know what's going on. Cash, appreciate them for having me. Um, it's a pleasure. I'm excited to chop it up. Let's do it. All right, man. Glad to have you on, brother. Okay. Uh, all, right. all the levels is like saying. Just make all the levels saying keep it there. And I'm not. Bro, they are. Let him do his job. I'm just telling him, like, so he don't, so he can't blame, like, I can't blame him. I'd be able to blame myself. Anyways, who the fuck is Cash K? Man, uh. Give us a brief introduction on how you get here. How you, how you get in this, you know what I'm saying? You a fashion nigga that a lot of people look up to. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, I mean, you want me to give you my, like, my story or how I ended up here? Story. My story? All right, well, uh, shit, my dad was in the military. Um, so I constantly, yeah. <laughs> I got wait, wait. Oh, never mind, never mind. Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, wait. I was about to ask, like, so where are you originally from? I, I really be claiming nowhere. Like, I be saying nowhere. Because, like, again, my dad was in the military. So I was born in South Carolina, but I was there for probably, like, seven months. Um, and then I moved to Thomasville, Georgia. I'm saying uh, 229. If you're from Thomasville, if you know, you know. Uh, I moved to Thomasville, and then, um, like, every year, Every other year, either every year or every other year after that, I was moving. I was constantly on the go. So I, I moved overseas. I did uh, fourth grade, excuse me, in Italy. I did third grade Damn. in Germany. So I've been everywhere. I don't want to go into like too much of a rabbit hole, but like just essentially I claimed nowhere. And then um, I started making content probably like 10th grade. When I lived in Kansas, um, I was like, bro, I'm in Kansas. That shit boring as hell. It's no racist shit, but it's just a whole bunch of white people. It's like I wasn't really finding like my crowd, my tribe. So I was like, bro, I'm finna just resort to the internet. Um, as crazy as that sounds, like it's crazy, but it's true. I I was basically on the internet a lot, going home. I mean, going to school and then coming home. I was like, bro, I'm finna start doing YouTube. I was watching like uh, Soul Illuminati. I was watching Flight, DDG. Yeah. I'm just seeing a lifestyle. I was getting very inspired off that. And I had tried YouTube um, when I was like living in Italy or whatnot. I used to make video game like uh, game plays. Like I used to play like Minecraft, Call of Duty. Oh, did you play Minecraft? Yeah, I was. I was on. <laughs> matter of fact, real. I was on Minecraft, and I don't know if y'all remember. Well, was you deep into the video games though? Yeah. Cause like my homeboys like we'll be on that bit all night. Like yeah, like uh, there was like a a free. So before I got the. Uh, full version of Minecraft, there was a free like alternative on Xbox uh, Marketplace called uh, World War Z or World Mind Z or something like that. Oh, no, y'all not, y'all not I was, familiar? I, was, I, I, I went that deep. I I went that's real. Deep. Yeah, yeah, So basically, <laughs> I used to play those and then screen record it, post it on YouTube or whatnot. So I've always been like tapped into internet culture. Mm -hmm. That's always been my thing. Um, but then when I started making like little lifestyle vlogs, like going to the red hooping, um, I used to vlog, get my teachers on my vlog. Um, and I just slowly like built like a support base off that. I mean, I just ran with it for real. That's true. And then, like, uh, after I graduated, I moved to California. And this is, like, the sped up version, of course, yeah. of my story. But after I uh, graduated, I was like, bro, I want to be like, because I was watching Pretty Boy Fredo, OD. Like, are y'all tapped in Fredo back then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, I 2K. Mean, but, but I was I was so into it. I, it was like, 
I was one of them them kids that like pick side. So you know, I was on the DDG side. Yeah, yeah. Fredo yeah. crash out. Yeah, oh, I, ain't gonna lie. I gotta call out. <laughs> this nigga story times was undefeated. Yeah, like exactly. Shit. Yeah, especially on 2K and stuff. So I was very tapped into that, and I wanted to be like a famous YouTuber, right? So when I had graduated, I was like, bro, I'm not going to college. Um, I'm finna just do this YouTube mm-hmm. shit. So I had moved to California, got an apartment with my dog Cell, Foreign Boy, Trio. Shout out to them if they watching this. Those really my guys for real. Um, See, I think I had a content house, basically. Yeah, yeah, essentially. For and sure. that's when I was like at its peak. Like everybody was getting houses. And this is like uh, when TikTok, I think it was like 2018, 2019, where TikTok, I'm tripping, not 2019. 2020 where tiktok really started like you know you had your influences doing tiktok houses too so that was like the pinnacle like the peak of that era i was like bro fuck it i'm finna do it too and it was working but then after our apartment uh contract or lease or when i had ended i was like bro i really want to embark on my own journey you know what i'm saying like I understand. I, I start. I basically grew up and realized like the internet is very fickle. I mean, granted, I still use the internet today. That's like where the motion's at. But you know, that's why I was like, bro, I'm finna go get, go ahead and get my degree. So I moved back to I moved to Atlanta, um, and then went to Perimeter and then transfer here. So uh, that's all here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like a quick little sped up version of that. Wait, can we? Wait, you said foreign boy. Is he where he from? Oh, uh, he from Sac, Sacramento, man. Sac. Shout out to everybody at Sac okay. too. Meta View, Oak Park, Zay. You know that, yeah. I heard, I heard that For name sure. before. I probably, I probably seen some of them videos before. I probably have. I heard that name. That name. Yeah, yeah, foreign boy. Um, and he, you know, it's funny. It's crazy. It's a really a small world. Uh, so when I met the, how I had <laughs> met him, he actually started doing YouTube first, and uh-huh. then I was like trying to like. I was trying to boss up my YouTube. I had, yeah. I had, I probably had like a thousand subscribers. Two thousand. He had yeah. like thirty k, forty k, twenty nineteen. So this is the before oh, we moved. I had met him on Instagram Live because I had been watching his content. I had joined his Instagram Live and everybody was like, "Bro, Cash in here, Cash in here." It was like my little supporter. It was crazy though. But he's like, uh, "Cash in here." He added me to Live, and I, you know. I was a kid just watching his content. Like I wasn't, I didn't think this nigga knew me for real. Mm-hmm. So when I joined a live and he was like, bro, Cassie, I'll rock with his content too. I was like, bro, what? So then I had uh, joined his live. We chopped it up. And then that's how we became friends. And I would like uh, go to California, link up with him, stay there for like a week. Mm-hmm. I met his moms. Blah, 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 blah. We actually became like best friends just off that Instagram live. So anybody watching this, man, like don't let people tell you the internet is like not real or, but you could really be like, this sound crazy, but your Xbox friends probably really fought with you, Twain. Like, you yeah. just got to meet them in real life. Like, yeah, people that you meet over the internet, bro, like, of course, you're going to do your due diligence, do your homework, don't be meeting randoms. But, like, if you think somebody fought with you, bro, and there's an opportunity you could actually build a relationship off that, go ahead and do it. Like, you never know what that could bring you. That shit changed my life. No, thanks. So. So, you get here. So, what are you majoring in? Uh, right now, I'm business administration. Business administration? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, wait, what's going on? Hmm. It's recording. What, the camera? Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to say, if it's not recording, I just yapped OD. Yeah, no, it is. I've been talking for like shit. But don't scare me like that, bro. I don't see it red. Maybe I'm not, tripping. You see the sound say red? You see the sound signal? Okay, okay, okay. Yo, they fine, might fine. not be recording. And I okay, did, did that whole recording. story time. Oh, you good. Wait, but, so, uh, so get, what made you choose Georgia State out of other colleges? Uh, so, uh, Quarantine before I had moved to uh no excuse me when I had moved to uh California and I realized I wasn't gonna be there no more uh, I didn't want to move back to Savannah so I knew like okay if I go back to Georgia or go back home in a sense I'm having all this motion on Cali if I go back home like I gotta like withstand some like I gotta still have something going I'm not going back to Savannah that's why I graduated in Savannah and no disrespect to all my nine one two heads y'all know I love y'all but. But there wasn't no motion there. Like, I was going to school and then just hooping every day. Like, it was, it's the country, you know what I'm saying? Savannah, we go to River Street, it's really nothing to do. Um, so I was like, bro, I'm not finna go back home to my parents. I'm not finna move to Atlanta because I know that's the close, that's three hours from Savannah. I can still push up on my dudes, still be cool, but then I still can like embark on my own journey and be in the city. So that was like, I was just leveraging uh, like each point. Like, uh, I feel like Atlanta was like the best place. It's close to my family, boom, boom, boom. Now, as far as schools go, um, I had chose Georgia State because not only was it in the heart of Atlanta, um, I feel like it's like in the dead center. I got accepted to Clark. At first, after I got the accept, uh, the exception in, invitation or letter or whatnot, I really pondered on an idea like, damn, do I want to be 
And this sounds crazy, but it's true. Do I really want to be around people that are exactly like me? Right? So I, one thing I love about Georgia State is like, you know, you got your Hispanics, you got your Asians. You kind of hate with that. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, yeah, yeah, like, like, I'm not going to say that, but like. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> the word. I'm not for real. Yeah, most stuff. Yeah, so like, just expect, like, like um, and I was going to go to SCAD. No, for real, do your homework on that. I was, I was actually going to go to SCAD, but not only was that price way too high. Nigga. I'm. What? I ain't gonna lie, twin. I got a master plan. When I graduate, I'm trying to have cheese that I can stack. Scad is crazy. Now I will say though, I do like scad uh, in Savannah though. But okay, this is not about scad. <laughs> <laughs> My father's not about scared. But uh, yeah, I had chose Georgia State because I feel like it's versatile. Um, and I feel like it just being in the heart of Atlanta, it, it, it's more community. It's cultured out here. And that's one thing I love about GSU. It's very cultured. Mm-mm. Yeah, that's don't, good. Let that, don't let that shit fool you, man. Nia got motion and money on. Facts. That's real. Scared. I'm already knowing. Oh, I got name. I'm already <laughs> know knowing. Mm-mm. But yeah, why y'all chose GSU? Who care about me? Why y'all chose GSU? Why you chose GSU, big bro? <laughs> well, I was, I was going back to Texas. I had um, I got accepted into, I got accepted into Albany, Clark, Prairie you View. Are? Okay, yeah. cool. Oh hell, <laughs> Prairie View and Texas Southern and UH. And I'm like, damn, I want to go back to the crib. Like, I want to go to Houston. But then it's just... Oh, every- so you from Houston? No, no, I'm from San Antonio, but like... Okay, where? I got people out there in Houston. Okay, where? And just the move, like, the move, it just felt like it was too far. Like, I don't know. It, it felt like it would have been a little too much at the moment. So I was like... I mean, I applied to Georgia State. You know, it's in the city. It ain't too far from the crib. Like, you know, maybe we could just... You know what I mean? Kick it here. And I got here and I love it. It's cool. I, I fuck with it. I ain't gonna lie. That's real. I ain't really want to come to college. Keep it a buck. But my dad was on some shit like, he didn't want me to come to Georgia State. And I was like in my rebel moment. So like whatever he wanted me to do, I just wasn't going to do that. He wanted me to go to, uh, <laughs> that's real. <laughs> he wanted nah, me to go, I feel it though. Yeah, we all had that Southern. phase though. Southern. Oh, yeah. that's why I don't mean no, to not, cut not you off. Not Georgia State. Okay, cool. <laughs> What's Louisiana. Southern then? Yeah. Louisiana. Louisiana. Out there, Louisiana. I was like, nah, not for real, for real. I don't want to do that shit. He was like, yeah. Then I had to uh, major in agriculture or something. And I knew I wanted to do something with like film and photography and all that stuff. Okay. That's your major right now? Film is, yeah. Word. So like, I was just like, nigga, Atlanta. Granted, I just moved here. Like, I moved here in 2018. So I'm like still new. Like, I was young. I really didn't get to like see the city for what it is. Yeah. Make them connections. I was like, bro, I'm going to the heart of Atlanta and I'm going to make this shit work. And then I just like fuck it. Georgia State is in the heart of Atlanta. I applied to Clark and Morehouse and got accepted, but I just yeah. So we was both probably in the same headspace. Like, damn, I appreciate the exception, but I'm cool like that. <laughs> I came from an HBCU type high school. Yeah. Oh, okay. Where Clark is? Clark is expensive as hell too. For nothing. Morehouse is too. For like Sheesh. no, like what's it called? Amenities. That yeah, part? I guess you could say that. Yeah. So why are you talking down on HBCUs? <laughs> Personally, I just feel like for the amount of money without a scholarship, there should be more, like more that come with the school, like living, like housing wise, shit like that. Like I feel like the connections is great, but like the housing shit you hear about, like Spelman, everything, it's unfortunate. Like it should not be that hard, and you already had an HBCU, so it's like damn, like fuck with me, big bro. Like where the housing at? Like would you go to a? Uh... All female school, like, because it's Spelman, right? That's all. Yeah, that's, that's really the only one I know about. Um, there used to be one. I don't know if it was HBCU, but it's called Winthrop. It's not a. It's not at all. My mom went there. It's not like that no more. But um, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I feel like even now, like experiencing roommates, you know, like my roommates, of course, are female. So even I didn't. The only female I ever lived with was my mom, and I'm still kind of like learning, like how girls are like living with them. Mm-hmm. So I don't what <laughs> I grew up with niggas. So like, Damn, but you're not a girl. <laughs> kind of crazy. What are you trying I, to say? I, I, I think I get what you You're basically I'm saying, saying like different. Yeah. If I'm being a young adult and then live and then I go to literally living with girls literally in the same room as another female, like it's different to me because I don't know, like that shit different. Like, yeah, I'm a girl, but I'm not very like, what? Like, I don't care about a lot of stuff that other girls care about. Like, certain shit they like in there, I'll be like, well, do what you want to do. Like, we go to Target, and they'll stop and say, like, everything's cute, and I'll be ready to go. <laughs> so it's just like, shit like that, I'm still trying to, like, all right, let me let me chill. Like, Wait, so, so Cash, what year are you? 
This is my third year. It's your third year? Yeah. Did you ever live on campus or? Nah, so it's funny. I actually, uh, I went to Perimeter first. Mm -hmm. So technically, from a te from a technical standpoint, this is my second year at uh, on the main campus. Mm -hmm. um, but I went, I did one year at Perimeter in Dunwoody because I used to live in Sandy Springs. But um, now nah, I never did the dorm. I, I thought about it or I had roommates, but I thought about it. But I just feel like, you know, simply put, I just feel like I... I, after I had roommates in California, when I had moved back, I kind of wanted to take on living alone early. Like I was ready. You know, a lot of people like are afraid to live alone or yeah. like there's something that they want to prepare for. I was like, you know, I done had all my fun. I didn't experience like roommates and stuff like that. I think I'm ready to just like attack living alone. And it was like, I wouldn't say it was difficult, but it was... Uh, it was a interesting process to like understand when I first started living alone. I had to like, okay, this is like who I am. Like you learn about yourself, bro. Like yeah. imagine, you know what I'm saying? You alone, like you yeah. learn about yourself, <laughs> but uh, nah, I love it. So I don't think I'll ever be able to go back. Nah. So yeah, nah, to answer your question though. <laughs> All right. Like you said, you got accepted into Clark. Right. Georgia State. Mm -hmm. They in the same... 10 mile radius. Yeah. What do you think would have been different had you went to Clark and not Georgia State? Sheesh, bro. Honestly, I feel like I feel like everything would have been different from the way I dress uh to the way I interact with people. Cuz I just got to keep it a whole honey. Like I feel like when I first moved to Atlanta, I didn't really know when I was going to Perimeter, Perimeter, and again, no disrespect, but Perimeter is like a ghost town, bro. It's like NPC Central. Like there's you <laughs> no for real though. Like I was going to class to him. And I, I feel like this is like some people might relate to this. So I'm gonna just be keep it a whole hundred because this is a part of the story. So when I when I was going to Perimeter Twin, I was really depressed. Like real talk, I was depressed. I, I used to think I was socially anxious. And like I'm always bubbly, excited. I'm always smiling, trying to talk to everybody. When I was going to Perimeter, like there was no social life. I was literally just going to school and then going back home. And I was living alone. So it's like, I feel like I was living like the lifestyle of like a 30 year old corp guy. You know what I'm saying? Like you go to school or my, I go to my job and I'm just coming home making dinner. I'm all by myself, damn near every day. So after I realized, all right, permanent ain't the move. I switched to the main campus. I was like, bro, like there's community here. If I could go hoop, I could go hoop with folks. There's people that are in the clothes. So I, there, it's that bubble, it's that sector. Like you could really like digest each world and figure out where your tribe is. I didn't have that luxury at perimeter. Um, so I feel like, you know, coming to GSU, it changed everything. Like, I, I learned more about myself. I realized that I am a talkative person. I love being around other people. I love networking. Um, I feel like if I would have went to Clark, uh, things would have been a little bit different because I feel like GSU, they, it's it's more inviting and more accepting yeah, to yeah. free spirited people, uh, right? So when I first when I first was here, I wasn't on this vibe where I'm wearing uh, track shoes and like this bright orange. I was wearing all black. My nails was black. I had locks. <laughs> like for I was on some like rock star shit, and like that's just my vibe though. Um, I feel like if I would went to Clark, like bro, what is you on like? I just feel like there would they be already. It's a lot more yeah. judgmental, especially at like HBCUs, though. Not like on some real shit. Yeah, and I'm black. Like, no, it's just because I think it feels like for real. You competing with people because everybody's the same type shit. So everybody feel like it's a competition when it's not. So it'd be a lot of like animosity, enviness, and all that shit. But like, that's what I really, really enjoy about GSU is like, bro. Like, we I feel like we give each other we every, we respect. Another uh, another person's ideas and their individuality and like, bro, just do you. Like, I yeah, probably yeah. I wouldn't do that, but go ahead and do you, bro. I follow it. Right. Green space is like a prime example of that. Yeah, rock out. Niggas be having the most craziest shit on when it comes to the green space, and they be like, well, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, like, shit, you, you wearing it, goddamn. You must feel comfortable in it. So it's like, yeah, and that's real. Oh, I, I definitely agree though. Georgia State is definitely more invited than a lot of other schools. Like, nigga, we went to Albany, and it was like, bro, I just know I'm not at home. Like, sheesh. <laughs> yeah. I got folks that stay in Albany. I was just there for my uh, cousin wedding, and it's like, I was there when I was a little kid. When I was a little kid, I was country as hell. Like, mm -hmm. I used to walk outside, no socks on, like, playing dirt. Like, I was that type of country. And when I went back as an adult, I'm like, damn, bro, it's really, like, everyone in this town know everybody is so small. It feels like you're wall to wall. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, that's just, uh, that's interesting. So so, that's so being, in, being in college and being a content creator, do you ever, does it ever get to the point to where, like, schoolwork overwhelms you to where you got to... 
push certain stuff aside or, or are you, you can't, almost drop out? Yeah. <laughs> I am an almost dropout. So like I'm literally hang I'm promise you I'm hanging in there. Like I'm hanging in there like with every threat. I promise, bro. I was a film major. Oh damn. I the, Wait, what's I, your major now? I'm yeah, business administration. I just had to change. Why? That. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I've been thinking about that. Like, it's like I've been thinking about switching my major to business. He didn't do it by choice, though. Like, it's because oh, you had yeah, to. Yeah, right? I ain't gonna lie. I'm a because I'll be yapping, bro. I'm gonna try to tell this story as quick as possible. And this goes into your question of like, uh, what goes into the question of like content creation and schoolwork, right? Yeah. So last semester I was a film major. Now, mind you, when I first went to GSU, I was business. Mm-hmm. I did. Uh, I was gonna be. Uh, uh, I did media entrepreneurship. But then I realized, like, bro. I'm an entrepreneur on my own time anyways. Like, what do I really got to get a degree for? I'm already doing it. Like, I could really maximize this. So I'd rather de- get a degree in something else that's a little bit more concrete and lucrative that's not already, like, my position. Boom. So that's why I switched to film. Mm-hmm. It's creative. I'm always in front of, in front or behind the camera. All right, bet. Let's do it. So when I switched my major, I had to take History of Motion 2700. And if my teacher is watching it. I forgot. I'd be mean, so lucky I forgot it, your name. You, no, it was a black lady. Did you take History of Motion? I did, but it was a black dude, though. This is named Andre. That's your, he's cool. I took. I had to take the same thing, bro. It was a. Uh, it, was, it was a student teacher. And did your teacher just read off power? Like it was like a PowerPoint, like a slideshow. She just read it off. It was like slick. It was more so on the visual side, though. Like we watched a lot of shit. Right? Yeah, a lot of movies or like BTS. Did yeah. Did you only have two assignments? Exam one and exam two. Or like maybe it was like three just tests. Like do you actually have? actual work or is it just test no we ain't had actual work exactly that's my point so look boom we have look, listen y'all we have no actual work we just had tests and i ain't gonna lie i was going quizlet boom we go check and quizlet i'm i'm acing all the tests i probably had like a 93 94 in the class right mm. i was skipping class to go get content yeah. and this is like we remember the uh, gsu fashion show everybody outside it's like and every single oh, so this was Last semester. semester. No, this is oh, last, last semester. semester. Yeah, this so you is, just changed your shit? Yeah, okay. this is fresh. That's why I'm <laughs> slick, amped up right now. This <laughs> is fresh. <laughs> so I'm skipping class. I ain't gonna lie. I'm doing my work. I'm passing the test. Remind you, y'all, we only had tests. I'm skipping class to go get content. That's I'm I'm a, I bet. If I'm gonna sit in class and she's just gonna sit there and yap, I'm finna sign my name, leave class, go make some money, do what I do best, right? So I'm leaving. I don't know if she peeped that I was leaving every class or had a personal vendetta against me, but at the end of the semester, Semester, she she gave me a, a an F for attendance, a zero for attendance. Yeah. What I didn't peep on the thing, history of motion twenty seven hundred is a prerequisite to begin your major. So that was the last yeah. class I just passed. History of motion pictures and uh, film aesthetics. Exactly, I passed film aesthetics. It was just that last class, mind you. Again, I passed all the tests. She gave me a, a zero. Uh, you have to have a two point five GPA approved or higher to begin your film major, bro. My GPA after the uh, after she put the zero, I had a seventy six in the class, which is a 2.6. I went from a 90 to a 76 just off that zero she put for attendance. So then I'm emailing her because it's I had a 2.6, which is still I could still start my major. Bro, why in the grade book uh around Christmas time when the final grades drop, bro, she gave me a D. She gave me a D for the class. And if you go on I call it, it said it's 76%. So I'm sick to my stomach. Like, yo, I can't start my major. You tweaking like, nah, I'm sending OD emails. Like I emailed her, I emailed, her. I emailed the uh, the head of the film department. I, I emailed my advisor. I ain't gonna lie to my moms. I'm like, yo, like <laughs> no, she, she messed really up the motion. She fucked up the plot. Like, uh-huh. come on. Like, I'm like, bro, what am I gonna do? Like I was sick. I, told, I think I even called you. I was sick. I was like, bro, like. Nah, you called me like a couple before actually came down that like two days before that you was like bro twin bro like sitting at your laptop like, for real like, what do I do then you call me two days later like well change my major like <laughs> yeah like, it was crunch time it was crunch time pivot. cause had pivot. yeah exactly and I was like bro alright at first I was sick but I was like bro I just this gotta take it to the chin and just figure it out. Like you can't just sit there and ponder on it and I'ma waste time then. So I'm like alright bet as, as soon as she put the DM bro and, and she she responded back to me like right before the semester, this semester started, bro, and said the grade is final. You skip class. I'm not gonna change it. And my advisor literally looked at my eye college. Like when I changed my major, she was like, "Let's review this one more time. If you sure you want to change your major, I'm like, bet, let's do it." She went on my eye college and said, "I'm looking at a 76." Then we start looking at a D on the final grade. She was like, "If you want, I could for- we could screenshot this and I'll file a claim and we could forward this." But she doesn't know how long the de- uh, head of the department is gonna get to it. The semester's finna start. I'm gonna have no classes, so it's like, bro. I'm 
I'm, third year, so now all your classes are major classes. Yeah. I'm, I, Wait, what so, about your minor, though? Huh? What about your minor? I didn't have no minor. I, 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 I just minor. said, I just, I didn't declare no minor. Uh, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's sick. They told me I had to declare a minor. I didn't declare a minor, I don't think. But, yeah, bro, like, that, I feel like that should just, like, messed up the entire plot, so it was crunch time, I switched back to the business school, so now I'm taking seven classes. <laughs> Now? Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking seven classes, but that just so I can graduate on time. Like, again, she messed up the plot, and, and I was business when I first had came, so good thing I had passed the business classes that I did when I first transferred. Yeah. But then the film is like, for me to be stay caught up to what I would graduate, mm -hmm. I would have to take LD classes, so that's where I'm at right now. But to answer your question, though, if you want to go film, <laughs> I definitely say do it if that's what you're truly passionate about. However, don't just get your degree and think that's the end all be all. Like, definitely try to do GFA. That was, bro, I got, uh, uh, I want to say maybe six uh, out, six credits just for that one class. It's a GFA uh -huh. um, where Trill of Studios, where they film all the Marvel movies. I took, that, I took one of them. I took pre-production. Okay, cool. Like, two semesters ago. Spring semester last year. Yeah, so you already locked in. You tapped yeah. in. You With know. anything like... If you got any type of major like film or something like that, like you came in as a film major or shit, even as a business major, if your plan is not to go work under somebody, you don't need that. Like I would just take that time to start building your portfolio. Like a business major can own a business as soon as you come in college. Like, exactly. You could be a, a C, not a CEO, but you could be a sole proprietorship of a business. So like you could build that portfolio to where you you go work with somebody. You can say, hey, I got experience on running the business. This is this is what I do with film, nigga. I could I could send them three podcast that I produce or a couple short films and be like, hey, this is what I do. Like, if you don't hire me off of that, like, I'm showing you proof that I can get the job done. Like, I'm not just telling you I got a degree and I took these classes. Blah, 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 blah. Um, bro, most dev, and it's funny you say that because why recently, so uh, I had went to the business, um, I went to the business uh, expo, right? Uh -huh. So I'm chopping it up with, and I ain't gonna lie, that shit was depressing as like a, <laughs> as a, no, nah, for real, I was, I was sad as hell leaving. I was like, bro, is this really what I want? Like, yeah. bro, think about it, nigga. And not even to be that guy, but uh, I'm having OD motion on the internet, and I just left a business expo with people saying they want to hire me for a warehouse job. Like, bro, no. Yeah. Like, that is I'm like, bro, impressive. I feel like I feel like Spider Man. So I'm living two worlds. Like, bro, which one is it? You know what I'm saying? Like, and Superman. <laughs> um, bro. So, but the thing is, the reason why I brought that up is like, bro, this is a part of your resume. Like, this is if you editing this and you posting this, like, that's this is a part of your portfolio. Everything that we do creatively, you can put that on your resume. Now, yeah, you got to finesse and create the narrative the way you type it up but like bro this is a skill set filming editing producing like this is movie making slick so everything yeah, yeah. I, I feel like all the creative stuff that we do like we got to start like, owning up to that shit and put on our resume because we you got what are you editing uh premiere pro premiere pro how long have you been doing it shit since what ninth grade ninth grade yeah. so what's how many years is that what ninth grade this what's your six six years you have I would, if I were up six plus years Premier Pro experience, <laughs> um, bro, oh bro, oh god, that easy, that that easy, bro. So, yeah, most def. I'm. I just went on a whole tangent, but uh, that's real. Mm -hmm. So, like, you a business major? Do you form your content on a business? Like, is your content the business, or you just make content for fun? Because I know a lot of people could like swift their content and say, you know, this is a business. Da da da. How does it come with doing like even deals like when you modeling with people and shit like that? Like, how did that work? Uh, that's a good question. So, um, my thing is like, I try to, cause anytime you want to monetize something, you know, uh, you don't want to take the fun away from it. Right. So like, that's why they always say like, uh, never like pers personal relationships that you care about, never try to like involve business with that because that's like the purest form of like a relationship and anything money ties to, you know, just wipes. Sometimes it can wipe the passion or fun away from things. Yeah. So I try to, to answer the question, like I make sure like, okay, boom, how can I monetize this situation? Like I have like a money making like mindset. However, like I always put like, is this something I truly want to do before anything? Right. So it basically played the game but like put yourself before the game though but still always keep the game in mind right so like I, I had a photo shoot yesterday um with an up and coming up and coming clothing designer and I was telling Twin like bro you could take these pictures of me but like we talking about uh what's our favorite uh our go-to drink at the gas station like when you fry what you be going to get like lemonade sweet tea <laughs> boom, boom, and he's vlogging that I was like bro that's post cautious. exactly you can monetize our simple situation like that and yeah like you could either say new hoodies just drop 
and have this vlog clip and you could frame it however you want it's, uh, bro everything's about narrative you could frame it how you want but just think of like okay boom record this like uh for an example like if i was to go uh, i'm going to easter for easter sunday i'm going to go meet my parents i'm going back to savannah I'm gonna vlog that trip. I might not post it. I might, I might, if the content's good enough, I might post it. But it's like just me recording that, I can make some money off that though. Mm -hmm. It's just about how you frame it. I pee. Easter vlog. Maybe I had a funny clip with my dad. You never know. Like yeah. just little stuff like that, bro. Like, I, bro, I done got the silliest checks. And what I mean by that is like BS that I done posted on TikTok. Our brand liked it. Like, yo, we loved your energy. How do you feel about this? I bet let's do it. <laughs> they send a contract over i read it if everything is like up to par all right but let's do it and that it's like bro money is everywhere like is, yeah. you just gotta go get it and i don't know so yeah monetize everything but then make sure like you still smiling at the end of the day too like don't crash out like because um if i'm not mistaken it's, i don't think that was you you don't do you have management yeah well <sighs> it's your homeboy wait who the management uh he create he creative direct a lot of shoots. I think he creative direct your last shoot with the camouflage shit. Oh, Silk. Are you talking Silk? about Silk? Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah. my boy. Shout I see, out to I Silk, see he man. be managing people. I see he be managing people. I, uh, I hit him up about a podcast too, but like, did he manage you? Yeah, so Silk doesn't manage me. Um, however, he does have his, he's starting up his own and I don't want to spill his much on, so I'm going to keep it very brief, but he is uh, planning to start um, uh, an agency. So he is looking for young creators. So if you're a young creative in Atlanta or anywhere around that area, you create content, no matter if you model, do you to hit my boy legendary silk on instagram man like he's st he started up an agency um so i yeah like that's his that's as much as i can speak on being comfortable enough but like you get the idea though how's it working with him though like because i didn't see i didn't went down his catalog and i didn't see some shit like he got some shit like that yeah that wild shit that niggas that fish out shit that niggas be doing now i'm not gonna lie he he kind of like ushered that in i'm not gonna lie yeah like uh it's funny because that's that's really my boy. Like I I every single time I run into him, it's on some like uh he at the same event that I'm at, or like we just run like we ran into each other at New uh New Year Fashion Week, we run into each other at like OTS or like Atlanta Street Market. But that was my first time ever like collaborating uh creatively with him. Mm -hmm. Um but the shoot actually originated with just the idea of me and Jordan. So me Jordan was the photographer. He had hit me and was like, Cash, I rock with your work, let's shoot. Yeah. Um and I'll slick get into like slick like break down the philosophy behind like slick how i be getting these shoots too because it's again it's all about framing and i feel like a lot of young content creators you know that's i feel like that'll be some sauce that they'll they'll gravitate to so i don't want to forget that but um when i shot with jordan it was just me and him and i had got these balenciaga boots and i really wanted to like embody like a soldier vibe so i had told him that idea and he was like i'm gonna add silk to the group chat but boom, boom and tell him the idea that i had and silk they're from uh i'm forgetting what part but they're from like 30 minutes out from atlanta and there was a mountain that they always used to go to growing up if i'm not mistaken Nigga stone so, mountain? nah not stone mountain oh. but it was like bro where was we at bro i was like bro y'all folks got me out the way like <laughs> it was like 30 40 from atlanta but damn i wish i really wish i could uh, remember the name it's on my vlog but long story short like yeah that's where silk Hat came into play he did the location uh uh i guess like the ge ge geography or whatnot like telling us like this is where we should go and it worked out perfect um and then they helped me with the face paint and of course silk just creative director was like yo let's get into this dugout mm -hmm. let's get into this tree um, and stuff like that. So that was a really fun shoot. Like to answer the question, Silk is definitely a fun person to work with. He's gonna joke a lot. Energy's always though gonna be there. Like it almost don't feel like work. Like, so for the environment real. real smooth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I feel like that's very important as a creative. Like you never wanna. The energy gotta be there. Like the the frequency. So most def. So what's been your like favorite brand that you've worked with so far? Um, like from the from the clothing wise to the to the to the shoot to like well you don't gotta say one favorite but just like one that stands out i was like damn i really had a good time clothes is hard vibes was there shoot came out perfect yeah slick flat that shoot that one yeah the one with jordan with the balance the face paint the blend that was probably like one of my favorite shoots as of recently i also really loved the shoot that i did um in new york for valentine's day with boohoo man that was a amazing shoot too they had uh probably like 
300 balloons like they had uh got us the hotel all the clothes of course were like uh given to us to uh modeling or whatnot it was a very creative shoot like shout out to photographer matthew if you're watching this um like he was a very like uh hands-on person like he was telling us where to go he didn't make us feel like puppets right mm -hmm. so like he was telling us where to go but like also saying like uh but you could do your own thing like pose however you want to pose it wasn't too like direct he was being direct but it wasn't yeah. like do this, do this. No, embody this vibe. Like he just, it was felt carefree. So shout out the Boohoo, the Boohoo Man team for that too as well. Like especially switching out the outfits. They, I don't know. They really, they treated us right. So that was cool. That's real. That's, real. That's hard. I know that has to be like surreal. Like looking back, X amount of years ago when you first started, or or and now you're working with Boohoo and like who was who who you worked with like. Sheesh. Like uh, I didn't. Again, that's the thing of the portfolio. I feel like slick twin. I don't even be thinking. Uh, like when I do like certain deals or whatnot, I don't really think too much about it. I just try to get it done as possible. Yeah. I feel like that's like that New York mentality too. Um, because I eventually want to live in New York, and I one thing I notice every single time I go out to the city is like everyone operates on like efficiency, like quickness. Like mm -hmm. how can we get this stuff out as quick as possible and be on to the next thing? So I really don't be thinking about it. But like over the years, like I've slick done hella. I, I work with Vans, uh, awesome. Puma, Reebok. That's how I got these. I did uh, Goodwill recently. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Goodwill, give it out. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. Like, that has to feel, like, surreal. Yeah. Like, but I don't be thinking about it, though. I, I feel like... What the, the fuck? You good? Or not. And I'm sorry if this Why is, like... Why did she say Casanet following? Do your homework on that. <laughs> do your Here homework on that. <laughs> Casanet just followed Twin. Nigga just commented on the video. I mean, she... Do your homework on that. What Wait, video? check your phone. Oh, check your phone. Yeah. You're not the first time nigga seen me, bro. Tell that nigga invite me to the He crib. love Kai. <laughs> Do your homework on Kai's. It's like, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> what? I was gonna say from like Twitch, like how long have you been following Kai? Because his come up is crazy too. Like I don't be tapped in, but like Would've he's been inspirational excited to see too. You, bro. That's what he said? I'm yes. gonna see. That's hard. That's real. Let me see. Nah, the fact that shit just happened on cam, though, that's even better. And that happened on <laughs> cam, too. Oh, oh, yeah. I said that happened on cam, too. Like, literally, we was, that was... He was on campus, wasn't he? Yeah, but we, talking about, we was talking about some shit that happened, like, last, last week. Oh, spring. okay, okay. They were talking about how I, I would over-exaggerate on some shit. Wait, what was it? Give me the breakdown. Here, what was it? I, I don't Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> you, remember, you remember last spring? Was it last spring? All that crazy stuff was going on uh, by... Uh, <laughs> What is that? Up the street by the reflection. Why does your People audio like, sound like this? Because his phone is messed up. People was like, <laughs> it was like, it's just like a whole block party and motherfuckers was like doing donuts in the middle of the street and like no, a whole bunch of crazy shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's so, a hella viral. So yeah. they, they drove through, like, casting at them, they drove through, right? Yeah. And casting at, like, he rolled down his window, like, slightly and, like, you could see his face a little bit, right? So it's, it's a group of guys. It's like, you know, it's just us, the gang chilling and it's like a whole bunch of people, right? So he rolled, he rolled down his window and like he seen him and got like so excited and like jumped up in the air. Like started He's trying to not to jump right now. Like, like I see it. You jumped in the air, Twin? He jumped in the twin, air. It was on some like some like <laughs> off instinct type shit. Like I ain't even think about it. I, I ain't gonna lie though. Real quick, I'm gonna pause the video. That's real though. Like, like that's real, Twin. Like <laughs> Like if no no real talk like, niggas gonna say it's glazing stop <laughs> it cut it out it's cool to show love cause like bro that shit is like other seeing other creators do it it's like bro that shit really be like sometimes the battery your back like bro I was bro, telling I the niggas with you, I was like, like bro I've been watching this nigga since like 2020 2019 yeah. you know some shit like this before everybody else was on the bandwagon like I now really if you jump twice nah I jumped twice I jumped once like, and I realized that was crazy <laughs> like I'm not like that was wicked I feel yeah. like niggas just selective like we was fucking with you but like at the same time that shit was funny as fuck though like but it, if he seen like say he seen like somebody jump up and down for like duke or some shit he would be like bro y'all niggas glazing duh, 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 duh. yeah of course yeah, like, gonna, of course they're gonna crazy. talk shit yeah most definitely it was more like that but that's funny that's full that circle moment for you that is a full circle that was full circle but it's also a full circle cause shit we was just with them when they was here yeah like, that's what I'm about to say game. last time they was here cause Sorry. it's funny I was uh, in computer science class and there was like hella police that were in the uh, I wanna say it was the law yeah in the law building mm -hmm. was he there was he in the law like how what, how, what happened we, what actually probably, happened that day it probably was I think they was we I was think with I Chris it. most of the day yeah okay and then 
after they went to the basketball game, they came back and they were trying to get into comments. And we was like, they, we was going to get them into comments. But like the police officers, like, I don't like talking about that shit either. That shit pissed me off. Oh, God. Think about it. But the police officers just don't bullshit. That was dead right. Bro, Dick Ryan, yeah. like we, they oh, knew they dude. was up here on like campus. Like these are regular folks. Like if they want to come in and somebody is willing to check them in, why they can't get checked in? Like yeah. everybody else. And I was just trying to work out like a procedure, like where I could like check them in as quick as possible. And the police officer that was at the desk was just on dick. Like, yeah, you know? but that's my thing too. If you're a public servant and you see that we have guests that are regular humans, they're not criminals, they're not trying to do anything. Why can't you just come to us as civilized people and help us try to de-escalate the situation instead of yelling and try to act like you got authority? over somebody and just you instantly know, I, just kick them off. You know what I think it is? I feel like they be bored as hell on their job, so anything that's slightly exciting, like, yeah. oh, cost, nah, we ain't going. Yeah, nah, they gotta be the ones that stand plot. up. Yeah, it's so for the plot. they felt like yeah. it was too much going on, like, what you mean? They just wouldn't let... I, I slick, yeah. I'm not gonna but lie, the nothing, way we did it, the way we did it, 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 it could've, could've been, been handled better, yeah. but I was just kind of upset at their interaction with us. Like, they, I always say this, like, police officers, they enforce the laws on us and then they serve and protect certain people. You know what I'm saying? And when they came, so you feel like it, it's like a bias towards a slick. I feel like that's just how the system works. Yeah. So like when they came to it, and we was at the whip with them, and I'm just telling them niggas like, yeah, they not. I ain't gonna lie to them, they not going like, they yeah, don't want y'all niggas in here for real. And that's what I was telling them at the whip. And then police officers came up. Excuse me, y'all not supposed to be. Here, blah 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 blah. blah. Just, but they wouldn't do that to no other normal ass person. That's what y'all saying type shit. Yeah, I guess. But even to- but even then, like earlier that day, we had already checked Chris in. With mm-hmm. no issue And like I Nigga they know, was supposed was... to come in here Decorate the room Vlog in here and shit Do the whole video in here Yeah So where did they I go? Think, I feel like we missed the opportunity Of a lifetime huh? yeah. yeah So where did they go? They ended up left, they left yeah. Damn so Cause I don't know why it Slick went viral yeah, I think all the shit back Like it was a table full of shit that they, yeah, they like, had... We checked it We brought all the shit in And then they went to the game So they was just gonna come back Do the vid Blah 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 It was a whole bunch of shit on the table I had to return all that shit Damn, wait, so was that the day that he was riding a skateboard through the green? Yeah, yeah probably. Okay, yeah. work. Cause I know that went slick kind of viral. Like I seen hella people. I think ATL Candy had took the picture. Yeah. That's yeah. that went kind of viral. Ooh, yeah. Good reference point. Pull up ATL Candy, man. What you think about that? Like that whole thing, like, do that do that influence you to walk through the green with that shit on? Like uh, it influenced a lot of other people, like. Uh I'm not gonna sit here and cap. I wouldn't say it, <laughs> I know I'm, I'm not gonna say it influenced me, but when the days I'm like, oh yeah, this is it. Like this is a tough ass fit. <laughs> I do be wishing twin in the green though. Like when I walk, I'm like, yeah, this one of them days twin gotta flick me. Um, and so like I ain't gonna lie, the day that I told myself twin gotta flick me, he did. Um, but then there's sometimes where it's like he don't flick me. It is what it is. So I wouldn't say like it impacts like all right when I get dressed anymore, I'm trying to get spotted yeah, on yeah. some shit. Um. Cause I feel like that takes the fun away from it, but I appreciate what he's doing. I was finna slick Doc's his name. I remember he's like a mystery. I'm slick. I, blah, 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 I can't oh, no, tell. He, yeah, he already. Yeah, he. he, he yeah, oh, he did. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So no more. But yeah, I feel like it's great motion though. Like I feel like that's again, it's like a, a community thing. Like bro, the people that do make it, they'll never forget about that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like. I don't know. I really appreciate stuff like that, especially like getting that culture. Like, bro, Clark not doing that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, they want to a lot so of bad. a lot of motherfuckers <laughs> is trying to. Your phone too. But I feel like I feel like we was really like the first to pop it off like that. Like, y'all, you're one of the big reasons. ATL Candy's one of the big reasons. Nikki's one of the big reasons. TikTok's going viral. This was really the world is starting to see like, damn, motherfuckers is really like putting it on at school and they got runways and everybody wearing all type of crazy shit. And I feel like, bro, we really like popping that shit up. Like, nah, for real, gang. Almost feel like an art school. It's, bro, I was <laughs> twin. I was literally about to say why I had people when I was in New York for Fashion Week saying, bro, I'm finna go to GSU. Like, it's slick a fashion school. Like, no cap. I was literally what? outside of the Dr. Garment's pop-up and, bro, hella people was around me just asking me questions. Like, bro, you made me want to go to GSU. Like, I'm finna go to GSU. All y'all be having it on. It's a fashion school. I'm like, bro, like, it's really not a fashion it's school. Because we made it that. Like, yeah. bro, that's the culture. Like, Wait, nobody, bro. I, w- I so want to ask you this but then again I know like you may not be able to answer it cause like you were third year but you say you went to perimeter first yeah I need to know if Georgia State was like this shit before class of 22 ushered in or class mm. of 26 26 before we ushered in was GSU this type of cause the green space is relatively new too yeah it's funny I had a uh, but it's a whole other side I'm not gonna talk about it too much but I had a 
meeting with somebody that went to GSU and it was like, you were so lucky to be able to create content because we didn't have the green space. Mm. Um, but I know my first year, green space is popping. Yeah. Green space is popping. And I feel like that was like, when I was like, bro, GSU is the place to be. Right. Like green space, I, I don't know if I would have enjoyed GSU as much without the green space. Like, I feel like that's like a very, that's like the focal point for GSU. Cause yeah. you know, we're not like Kennesaw. We're not like where we have this closed in community where it's like when you enter Kennesaw, now you're in that university. It's like- You sometimes wish that though? Cause we sometimes- Man, wish hell no. Nah. I you wish don't? that shit. You wish it? Cause it feel like we don't really have- this like even all this shit with the racetrack and like people complain and it's like bro how much can you complain like georgia state not really georgia state it's really just downtown atlanta yeah I'm like bro. you can't yeah. stop niggas from coming to downtown atlanta you feel me so, so how you feel about that though like how do you feel about i feel like it's a great question like and i feel like a lot of gsu students might want to hear this conversation how, what do you feel like needs to change with gsu like bro because let's be real folks crashing out at the racetrack that's unacceptable behavior though it, like it, no it, matter it's, what, it's, I it's, like, it's, it's happening behavior. everywhere. It's just like yeah. spoken on because it's in the middle of the school. That's but if you know is. the history, if you know Atlanta, you know this shit. It been here. It yeah. been going on. So it's like, I mean. What can you really expect? Like, I don't really expect something right yeah, there. Yeah, it gotta be for it to stop. Exactly. Yeah, I, I feel like I feel like yeah. Given that it's downtown Atlanta, and again, not saying that that's because Atlanta that's gonna happen. In I guess in the most like. Uh, I'm not trying to be ignorant, but like, bro, niggas die every day. So like, niggas do yeah. die every day. Um, bro. Like, that's not ignorant. That's real shit because it's statistic. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's why, that's why I said look at, <laughs> look at the history. Like, and it's, um, I'm accepting of it because like it was there before me. I knew of what it was before yeah. I came here. It wasn't like I just thought Georgia State was so sweet and da 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 da. Like yeah. I said, it's downtown in a major city in the South. Like niggas is gonna be on this campus. Like niggas that's not yeah. supposed to be on this campus is gonna be on this campus. But you know the pros outweighed the cons yeah i feel like the diversity and the uh uh accessibility of like networking and meeting interesting people is like it outweighs any like sort of harm or danger that people may think they they could be on but bro you're sip you're simply just in a city right mm -hmm. it's just this is like a city environment this is an urban environment so you're gonna see stuff like that of course you're gonna see homeless people if you go to any other city you're gonna see homeless people and you're gonna see stuff like that so you you guys are right it's literally just a city with a school planted in the middle of it right yeah. so you gotta take it for what it is it's not kennesaw where you're on the outskirt and you can just it's this nice town Town away, yeah. gated i don't know but then again it's i mean that's true but like when if you even go to georgia tech it doesn't even feel like or if you go to scad i don't where the fuck am i at i'm not in atlanta i'm at scad <laughs> damn like for like seriously <laughs> even i don't take yeah. you see what i'm saying i don't hear no loud cars i don't hear like y'all said that like the first time y'all came here you don't it, hear shit yeah, that, was real, interesting. that was a real so life, like, like but to like answer the question i honestly do not know what georgia state can do to Make it. I don't even. Yeah, it's like, close the racetrack. Uh, somebody got somebody passed away right after they closed the racetrack. But race. it's yeah. genuinely just the location. Like y'all are yeah. saying, Tech and Scad. The the similarities between them two is it's in Midtown. That's a whole different yeah. part of it. Like I swear, like as soon as you drive through, like. I can feel like when I leave Midtown. <laughs> and it's not even on no That's like real. yeah, but it's, but it's like you can yeah. tell when you leave. And I don't know like how they did that shit. Like how like who owned what, but like that's literally how it is. Like it's literally like a sh you can go straight from here. I mean, straight from SCAD. It's like a straight shot. You yeah. can just keep driving straight and make a left turn and then you're here. But it's like at some point one of the buildings start looking different and then you in downtown. <laughs> Nigga, walking walking from here and like, you know where Metro at? Metro Cafe? Yeah. And like Hooters and shit? Yeah. Even that's that feels yeah. different from over here in this Or area. like fucking, what's that thing on the, what's that wing place called? Taco Mac. Like, you know, that over area where there. it's like hella like restaurants on the side and shit? You know I think about? so. I yeah. think so. That's like Midtown. Yeah. That, <laughs> and, and that's, I, I was going to say like, bro, like, do you feel like, do you feel like the fact that you can walk up a block and the vibe and the energy changes do you feel like that's a that's a problem, or do you feel like that's that's the beauty of Atlanta? That should I remain? think that's the beauty the, uh, of Atlanta. It's like twenty million different kinds of people here. Like yeah. I, I remember when me and my brother moved here, and we just like when like he got the car, or whatever. We drive down here for no reason because I grew up. Well, I didn't grow up in Gwinnett, but like high school, we was in Gwinnett. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I didn't even say that. Oh my god, no, I didn't grow up in Gwinnett. But when we would come down here, it's so different. Like Charlotte, you could probably go in a circle around Charlotte 
in like five minutes. Atlanta, it's like, okay, whatever you consider Atlanta, I don't know. But we're looking at it as like, as soon as we get down off the highway, it's like, we can go here, we can go to Buckhead, we can go here. Now we on the way to Marietta. Like, it's so many different places you can go yeah, just yeah. by, and it's not like that a lot of places. I feel like if you don't travel or go to a different city, you kind of take this shit for granted or like think it's like normal. It's not normal for you at all, like at all. But I think that's what's why people be moving here because there's so many opportunities. Like and it's shit. so it's so fast paced too, and you realize that when you go but other it's not places, as fast paced as New York. Yeah, and not, I think that's the beauty of it. It's, it's yeah, not, right. but like if when we go to like if I when we go to Virginia or something like that, or when we go to goddamn, it don't feel like Florida. Or nothing like that. That's just, real. I don't know, bro. It's, this shit feel rich in culture. Like that's what I'm saying, bro. That's culture. why I slick. So I'm, I'm gonna buy me a crib out here. Even if I don't plan on staying in Atlanta forever, I know I need to. If I come to Atlanta, like I yeah. got somewhere. Like Atlanta's one of those. Like yeah. I, I can see why a lot of people like don't want to move out the city. You see people that are from Atlanta that are here all they lives. Cause it's like, bro, the love here is crazy. Again, it's literally the heart of culture. We got the swag. We got the fashion. We got the music. Music. music movies like film like yeah. we got it's, the cars it's, it's everything it's like everything it's the pinnacle. right here like it's literally it used the to be new york it used to be cali now it's just here and it's been here i feel like years. it's always been atlanta though it was so? just it just wasn't a spotlight like wasn't a lot of social media to where you oh okay yeah. like you could see every because yeah. there's so many different places so now it's like nigga i can see a nigga in buckhead right now if i open my phone <laughs> so it's just like it wasn't like that before we just seen like okay cali you think like hollywood da, 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 da. now it's like i don't even be thinking about cali and you know what's crazy yeah, california dead i ain't gonna lie. <laughs> we still only on one side of like the retrospect of what atlanta is what do you mean you go to a strip club hell no that's a whole different part of atlanta <laughs> like that's niggas real. Some niggas idolize The strip club yeah. We don't idolize The strip club But niggas idolize The strip club That's a that's point in culture when we feel me yeah, So when that's we like talk a about whole culture. Different thing Like we still haven't Even like seen That side of Atlanta yet Yeah That's city right there Go up the street About to So year three Graduate soon mm-hmm. Graduate Get your degree what do you what's what's next? That question would have gave me dumb anxiety. I can't lie. <laughs> nigga, that's not, <laughs> but I'm just I'm just saying I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it like bro, like we young, but like bro, we don't got that like we got two years left, bro. Yeah, and this shit is you know I fast. seen this quote. I'm sorry. No, you good. You think good. about your question though. Um, like you know how like when they say like you growing up and you finna be an adult, they saying like when you hit your twenties, that's your first time being an adult. So it's like relearning everything over again how you were up until you were 18. Does that make sense? Yeah, I don't I, know if I, I get said it right. But I, get, like, I get what you're saying. But like, yeah. they say, like, when you're 23, you've only been an adult for three years. When you're 25, you only been an adult for five years. Shit like that. So you're like, like, you're like still like, yeah. But even I get that. Up. But I was told by um, a guy, well, the CEO of Serta Simmons, he was breaking it down to me like his lifespan. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> that was funny? a beautiful flex right there. I ain't gonna lie. That was amazing. Well, well, <laughs> was I, I talked to the CEO one day. Yeah, that, that was like, crazy. Y'all okay, cool. Nah, you got no type of contact? Talk, yeah, talk, talk, nah. Let him know. Do your homework on me being a security guy holding it down every day. Facts. Oh, bro. But now the CEO came through and uh, I was asking like, um, I was telling him my situation, everything I had going on. I'm like, what was your mindset when you were my age? And he was breaking it down like when he was a teenager, he wasn't even thinking about no money, no nothing. In his 20s, he was still figuring shit out. He was like, when he got to his 30s, he started to learn what he was good at. 40s, he started executing. 50s, voila. She better than me. She better than I me can't too. wait to talk. I was thinking about money when I was 10, Shout. And that's, that's real. That's, that's so crazy how much things have changed. Like, like I don't we feel like we got no time to waste. Cause the internet twin. Bro, you seen the new president though? Or candidate? Y'all seen that nigga? Mm. New candidate. I thought Bro, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm gonna vote. Nah, I thought it was just Trump. I like what he's talking about. No, no, no. I forgot his name. Robert it's- Kennedy? Yeah, you know they say if it's a Kennedy on the ballot, you supposed to vote every single time. <laughs> no, I swear to God, like I watched, I went on his website, I researched his nigga. I'm like, wow, like he telling me shit I didn't even know. Like the reason we in debt is because, and like the reason price is so high is because they printed more money. Now shit more expensive. Now, duh, duh, duh. like this shit really it, like connected. When you think about it, when you inflation. Now nah, we gonna get there. He's, yeah. That shit crazy though. Like they set us up. Like the how much a house is compared to like how much it was back then. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, the more money they print, the lower the value of the dollar is going to go. That's what but I didn't know niggas was at, like, I knew that, but, like, 
the government been lying to us. Like they some hoes. Like we really have try. they? Yes. I don't think they've been lying. They just, yes, they what, what if it's hidden in plain sight? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, That's what I, I think. It's hidden in plain sight, and I feel like I mean everything they do is strategic. They know what they're doing. That's, they showcase that certain stuff to get a certain like, reaction out of people. Watch like shows that like. <laughs> I don't know shows that be like showing real life shit. It give me anxiety. I can't lie. I'm like damn, like this is like on some dead ass. You know what I'm saying? I think shit happens like so Black slow. Mirror. You forget to look like you forget to look at it. Yeah, it, that's. I was literally gonna, bro. That's crazy. We slick on the same mindset. I feel. I was gonna say it's pacing, right? So I feel like pacing is a, a very thing, uh, important thing. Like everything happens slow, but then also like. A lot of us are distracted. And I, I don't want to be yeah. sound like on some gazer, gazer, so Illuminati vibes <laughs> or something. So we're man. distracted. Yeah. But like I feel like it's facts though. Yeah, 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 like Super Bowls, Grammys, Oscars, like yeah, that stuff is cool, but like they be distracted. It be calculated, us. I can't lie. Yeah, that like shit. it's just marketing. It's marketing to take you away from we're gonna show it's you this crazy, cupcake bro. instead of showing you what's actually like important in the back. Like we're gonna show you what's we're gonna package it nice. So I feel like that's a thing too. Nah. Mm -hmm. I started thinking like that ever since I heard that Tupac song like the one time. What he said what song? was like Bro, what he said, y'all know Changes. what I'm talking about, bro. Young Changes. as hell heard that shit. No, like Changes it's one, one line he said in the song, I can't think about it. I feel I can't like remember. you can't think of you can't think of like the rhyme. I'm I like, can't even think about it. I was probably like the melody, ten years old. Nothing. And it was one line. No, I can't think of the shit. You want, you gonna make me start rapping too? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got uh, 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 I lost it. You got uh money for war, but you can't feed the poor type shit. Oh, keep your head up. Yeah, to keep your no. head. Up. No, it wasn't that. It's either keep your head up or changes. They got it's money not for changes, wars, but can't feed the poor. And it ain't no hope for the no. That's keep your head up. Yeah, let's keep your head up. Yeah. That's just crazy, that right? Two powers really one of them Tupac ones. Real he Gemini. The fuck does that mean? Running you believe in Tupac. that? <laughs> I was just joking. Twins gonna quit me after that. Never mind. Um, do I believe in what? Nothing. Go yeah, sign. Where are you? A Capricorn. Yeah, you lie a lot. That's Capricorn's lie a lot. <laughs> Anyway, I'm Aquarius. Aquarius. Wishy washy. What are you? A cancer. Sensitive. What are you, Reese? Lie. Okay, <laughs> cool. Lie. So, what does the Gemini do? They say we like bipolar and um, nah, that's Two Face. Okay, why do you? What made you? Tell me your story of about believing in zodiac signs. Like, how did this begin? <laughs> they ask you questions. So he, he started at the root of it. Um, like, that's, like what influenced right. you to follow? Um, I genuinely, <laughs> I genuinely don't remember. Like, <laughs> I think at some point, oh, it was my mom probably. She's like, she's not heavy on that shit. But like the way I act, I feel like y'all all know me personally at this point. She's like. When I was younger, she was like, that's that Gemini. Da, 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 da. That's that Gemini in you. Da, 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 da. And like, I started like looking into it. And like, I got the horoscope app on my phone. Ain't no cap. That's it. some real shit, though. <laughs> that's like, some real shit. Like, nigga, you ain't never you been scrolling to... on Instagram and that bitch be like Aquarius. And then they have like a description. And, and I'm like, like yeah. damn, I do be doing and bro, that. bro, like, people be trying to say, like, I don't dead ass like judge people off of. Like, when I call y'all a liar, like, don't literally take that shit to heart. But like, kind of. But like, at the same time, like, <laughs> That shit is like science on some shit. Like, it's stars aligning. And when they come up with predictions and shit like that, it's looking at, like, astrology and shit. It's not like it. niggas just made shit up. Yeah. But, like, I think that's why I believe in it. And when I started, it's just something I keep in the back of my mind. Like, when somebody tell me that's a zodiac sign, dots start connecting. Like, that's why the fuck you act like that. Like, you can't that. commit, Aquarius. I get that. Clocked it. It's okay though. You just I get, but then I, I get that. But then I see stuff Fuck and it'd be yeah. like it'd be like this is a description and it'd be like a Scorpio. And describe, I feel like uh, I'd be like I do the same shit and I'm a cancer. Uh, okay, so you, you said water sign. You said that you. Cancers and, uh, but hold on, it'd be some sign. shit like this. You a cancer, but your moon is Scorpio and some some yeah, guys and it's like it's okay, down, and now you three like, times. Like, okay, it'd be so vague, bro. It'd be the pages. Okay, here's where you gotta like ignore that shit. If, if the page is called like Gemini One on One, unfollow that shit because they really just made an Instagram to, <laughs> clout. to yeah. Yeah. So like shit like that. But if you saying like Scorpio, then it's water, air, and fire signs. You're a water sign. You're a yeah. uh, air, and you're. a Earth, I think. So, cancer. Like when you say you see Scorpio and you like, I act that way. Both of y'all are water signs. I mean, that was just that was just like a hypothetical. Okay, thing. well, not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> that's usually how it be though, because like, um, 
Goddamn. If a girl I, ever I asked me for my three. sign, though, if a girl ever asked me for my sign, I'll lie. Why? Because, like, why? Again. <laughs> like, now you, like, you then, think you about to read me because of my sign? Twin, what, if, what if he lied and then she like, that's why you act like that? But that shit cap. Um, so, and that be the, you that be the, the test. That be the test, for I, real. Excuse me. I say shit like I'm a Pisces. Oh, that uh, that gets why you do this. Pisces are messy. Be for real. <laughs> you say Pisces are messy? They might be. Do y'all know y'all big three? Y'all know what that means? Nah, I really no, I don't even know what that means. Get into all that shit. Okay. We don't got to get into that. What do y'all feel like y'all should educate yourselves? It's interesting. <laughs> do y'all believe in aliens? Yes. Like, are aliens real? Let's settle this. I wouldn't say aliens are real, bro. Nigga, if I we real, say, why don't we religion. think aliens are real? I believe in extraterrestrial life. Spell it. <laughs> 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 not necessarily aliens, but like I, that's I, what an alien is. Oh, I mean, but, but extraterrestrial like, means but I, not from this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I feel like alien has a certain stigma to where it's like you want to see a little like green. A green. You see what I'm green, saying? That's why. Yeah. That's why I wouldn't really say extraterrestrial. Like I honestly feel like shit. Niggas got whole kingdoms under the water. Aquaman is probably real, but technically, somebody from uh, New York coming to Georgia is an alien. Shut the fuck up, boy. Like, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, they're aliens. By definition? They're, they're, alien, real, they're aliens to the Be area. By definition, be for real, though. That's why I say extraterrestrial life. Yeah, but, but nah. like, because, like, I get what you're saying, though. Like, you don't believe it's going to be, like, that package version that we, like, the green. Exactly. Like, exactly. With the exactly. With the the yeah. and I feel like, like, but Paul, I just feel like if Paul we're real, you like know, this. like, we're probably aliens to people, other, something of else. Of course, yeah. So I just be thinking, like, I was talking to my roommate about this, like, bro, we dead ass, like, have a soul, heart, and mind. Like I like how, I just don't think this shit. The one and only God. Yeah, it but like how, not, it, my nigga? No way, it shit could just start with us. That's what I'm saying. Doesn't. I think it's it's definitely more to it than what we know or what they tell us type shit. But like, have there's no way we're the only ones that live, breathe, and have a whole world type shit. There's no way. It's have just. You, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, no, I'm about to say, have y'all ever thought of the idea that damn, what if there is uh extra extraterrestrial life, but we can't see it with our eye? Like God it's is like extraterrestrial. you know we only have as humans we only have like a certain percentage of our brain unlocked. Did y'all know yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, I think it's ten. Lucy. Yeah, go on Netflix, watch that shit. That shit is so like. Wasn't they popping pills and then uh they popped a pill and then she would access more and then at yeah, the end like, she became like. I didn't watch you. Don't tell me. I ain't okay. finished it yet. Never mind. But Lucy? yeah, I'll take you your word. It, you it's called yeah, Lucy. Lucy. I remember yeah, it came exactly. out when I was younger, but I just now like started watching it, and it's like. It's not like some fake shit. I mean, I don't know if it's fake or not, but like we dead don't have that much access to our brain. And her ass over here, like drawing shit in the air and shit. Like I don't know. That movie is mac. It's good. Like it's like wow, that shit. It's just crazy. so many planets and different solar systems, and it's like, bro, we're the only ones. Like, yeah, like, we're definitely not the only like, ones. I said this shit the other day. I was up to like four in the morning. You. All right, so do y'all believe like energy cannot be created nor destroyed? It can only be transferred. Yeah, Bruh, you believe that. Don't, yeah. Don't like so science. if that's the case, your soul is like an energy, right? Yeah, ain't, that, ain't, that, ain't that the so Newton's that, law? Is that, that what it's called? Yeah, that's what like law? you, you, you ever walk into shit. a building, you don't gotta say nothing to nobody, and you just feel like a that's your soul. Yeah, that, like that's if yeah. that's the case though. Does that mean our soul has been here since the Big Bang theory? Mm. Okay, repeat you know, that. Repeat I think that real mermaids quick. are real. <laughs> That's not connected. They call I don't science. even know what the Big Bang Theory is. To be Wait, honest. Twink, can you re repeat like, that question though? You said so. Like, so if you believe that energy cannot be transferred, nor I mean, energy cannot be created nor destroyed, only transferred. Oh, I get yeah. what you're saying. I it's like saying. your have soul we, has to have been here since everything oh, you're else saying has started. It hasn't been destroyed because it shit. can't be destroyed. You know what I'm saying? Once it's been, you know. You feel me? Mm. But even then, it's like I don't big, get it. That's a slick, slick, yeah, like a rabbit hole. That's a slick, slick yeah. Question. And the reason why I'm saying yeah is because God is the creator. Well, personally, I believe in God, yeah. so I'm gonna just speak off my perspective. Yeah. But God is the creator, right? So God made the heavens and the earth. God made the solar system. After the Big Bang, if if we are in the Bible, it says we are made in His uh, image, right? So if God was the creator, He created everything. If we're made in His image, then technically. We, if he's the starter, then we have our souls. The energy of human life has been here. It's just shit, now shit. our physical form, of course, is whenever he decided to. But we've always like soul. You get what I'm trying to say? Like the feeling, yeah. the aura has always been here. Shit, I even think. when they say we made in the image of him. So do y'all like real. believe do we in look like him? Huh? Sorry, but no, nah, I, I finished my. Oh. Do y'all believe in like the whole story of like Adam and Eve, or you think it's much deeper than that? It's much deeper than that. I, I think it's much deeper than that. And only because it's text that outdates that that story. 
Yeah, I think it could be, but I mean, like, I never really, I never really too much looked up further into how deeper it would get. I just, you know, once it was told to me, and once I, I, I read it myself, and I was like, all right, that's what I mean. I've never been good at. Yeah, like, I'm what? taking shit for face value, like just because the preacher preached it. <laughs> like, I gotta go research it myself. Yeah, well, I, I just want to read the Bible I gotta again. Back to pre- I don't remember the last time I actually sat there and read the Bible. It's been a Since while. I was like younger Like cause I know the whole story But like now like It's definitely like faded Like I don't really remember everything I feel like they need to update That motherfucker and Make it like a more modern version <laughs> How? I, I like, feel like, like, <laughs> like Thou shall not Just be like shit He said y'all niggas shouldn't kill Yeah I feel like niggas understand that <laughs> Bro, yeah. I feel like Snickers. You're done The cool thing about the bible though God I feel like you right now <laughs> That's The cool thing about it though Is like bro You got folks that's been reading the bible For like Let's just say 50 years Like they You got 80 year olds Still reading the bible And they start reading it When it was like 10 So in Back to the idea of like It's much deep It's much deeper Than just the the story Of Adam and Eve It is very much deeper Than that Cause like you still got people That are still opening up Their bibles And my granddad Still be wearing his bible mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying He probably done read it Like 20 times over You know what I'm saying Like <laughs> yeah. For real, so it's like there's always something that you could reread it again. Don't take it for face face value. You could reread that sentence hundreds of times and still pick layers. Like, damn, it could also mean this though. It's just un- yeah. unlimited wisdom. Oh no! But like at the same time, like we don't know the nigga who wrote it originally. So how we know like this is what he meant for real? Like it's how exactly. we interpreted it for real. Right. That's the only thing where I'd be like, well, damn, like it's everything. What's real? Bro. What's That's fake? Why it's good to read. Everything is interpretation. <laughs> What? Don't Why you just make that noise? <laughs> yeah, that noise. Shit, mom, 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 it, it starts messing with my sanity. Yeah. And I'm that's like, that's what I'm saying. Like, that shit made bliss, me anxious. Yo. I used to be scared of dying. Like, I used to wake oh up crying. God. I don't even want to talk about it. Oh I don't God. want to talk about but it. Also, but why are you scared of dying if you Bro, can be just in heaven? I think about how, how I'm going to miss every flow. At the time, I remember like, up until I was like seven through the age of 10, Bro. I used to cry every single night. I wake my mom up <laughs> oh. and I would cry, be like, Mom, I can't eat Twizzlers no more. My room not going to be pink no more. What's going to happen to y'all? Like, it's shit like that. And I still, like, sometimes, like, I'll, I'll be think about it in my bed and I just have to like shut my mind off like bro I can't think about this shit right now bro like when my dog sorry sorry no you're sorry. good you're good you're my good. dog died I'm like wh- where did this little nigga go though like for real like we Chubbs, buried right? him huh Chubbs what's his name what was the dog name don't ever disrespect <laughs> champ like that champ. bro Champ. Champ. Like at the beginning of the school year for me. And I've known like Rest I had paradise. my dog since huh? R. R. Champ. Champ. Rest in paradise, my brother. That's real. I've had him since I was probably like nine years old. So he lived like longer than bulldogs are like supposed to. So like Bruh, I don't know. Like, I just be going. Like, when I go home, I went home over the weekend. Like, I go down. We buried him back in the backyard. And I'm like, like, where did he go? Like, I know he down there, but like, yeah. what about dogs and shit? Like, I feel like dogs should live forever. That shit kind of sad. He transcended. They say all dogs go to heaven. That's what I heard. That's <laughs> real. Shit. But it's just like, even when we die, like, Bro, I'm gonna be sick as hell, bro. Like, what the fuck? We really gonna like exasperate? Nah, we really gonna... gonna disappear? Like, bro, somebody could come in here and shoot all of us right here, and we're dead. No, nah, but look, look. I, I, I try, I try that? to, like, I try to. Yeah, right God forbid. Yeah, I, I you're like dead. Too. But I look, I look <laughs> at it, I look at it at the positive side. Like, I started to look at life like this is a vacation, so make it, make it what you can. You're better I'm than like, me. Hell, yeah. You that's like, what, I, but that's what I'm saying. But like, after you die, like. It's supposed to get better. Yeah, to slick be, I feel like to slick to, I sound psyched out for this, but it's real. To slick to be fulfilled, I feel like you have to think about death no. a little bit. You like do. you, because then yeah, once yeah. you like start like, don't, you never supposed to fear death, but like you once you like, it, yeah, yeah, once you face like, it, like, bro, it makes even simple conversations like this, like, bro, I really enjoyed this conversation. Like, yeah. it means yeah. much more because it's like, bro, I could die. I feel like the only thing that makes me scared is like, I don't feel like it was a lot. Well, there probably was, but it's a lot of like senseless deaths now. Like yeah. niggas just dying for no, like you should not have died like that. Like yeah. doing, niggas doing stupid shit, other niggas doing stupid shit to other people. Like stuff like that is where my mind go crazy. Cause like they can have his whole life in front of him and he just dies. Like you see like the Hoopers or the football players, yeah. boom, their life is gone. They had niggas supposed to go to NFL and supposed to go to NBA and he just died. 
Yeah. Like, it was not lie. supposed to be I, like that. I remember and when then, I first found out, I think it was a movie. I think it was like 2012 or... I don't know what it was, but it was a movie I still where... I haven't watched that shit. I don't, I don't think it was 2012, but I know it was a movie where uh, it was this, this family... He had two kids and uh, some aliens or extraterrestrial life. They look just like humans, but they were like kind of clear or whatever. Yeah. They came down to Earth and they ended up kidnapping his kids. And he was like on a run, like trying to get his kids back or whatever. And I feel like I know a movie you're talking about. I, I just can't think yeah, of the keep name. Going. And a lot of it was a lot of <laughs> it was a lot of crazy shit going on. And uh somebody on the news was basically saying, like, you know, we're about to go at war, da 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 da. This 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 is about to happen. And he ends up catching up with his kids and the people that kidnapped his kids. And they're like in the middle of the woods, and it's like an invisible spaceship that like pops up. And uh he it was like no words were said, but it was like the dad knew Nobody's what was going on. Numbers. Huh? Y'all niggas don't know what you're talking about. No, I, 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 I but don't. I'm really envisioning the scene in my head. I can't think of the title though. I, I know I, exactly what I, you're talking I, about. I just, I, when you said woods, woods in my head, woods, woods, woods. I gotta I gotta find spaceship, I gotta spaceship. find the, the main character's name and then I, I know the movie, but but once it was like no words were said, but it was like he knew what was going on. So, so the dad didn't know they were aliens. Is that no, what he saying? didn't know because they look oh. like they look like actual. They look like regular humans. Yeah. But when the spaceship and all the other crazy shit came out, he was like, "Damn!" <laughs> so then he ended up he ended up letting his kids go with them, and like once they took off, it was like they were on another planet. But it was like you could see Earth in the background, and the world just exploded. And then my auntie was like, "Yeah, everybody got to die." Nigga, I, I made I made the longest flipper grandma all my family, nigga. I'm like, damn, bro, we got a job, job. I'm like, no, oh god, I made the longest flipper grandma. But then, like, getting older, it's like, I mean, I just pray that everybody I care for and love for believe in something. So that way, when everybody does what they're supposed to do, maybe we'll meet up eventually. I be hoping I die. That's a great mindset. Because I don't think I can live through my loved ones. I don't think I can do that shit. I be thinking about that. Some shit that I haven't lost. I haven't lost that many people that like. I've definitely lost people, but not like so close to me. Where like it's affecting my everyday life. Well, I'm a liar. Actually, not. I feel like it's been less than what it could have been. Like to other people that I talk to, or no, I'm like, damn, like you just lost your your sibling, like. Your mom, like somebody mothers else, and that dads, you literally is crazy. Talk to like, every I can't, day. I could not yeah. lose my yeah. mom or my dad. Like, but that's I a, might crash out. That's another reason to like be grateful and and and, and do better every day. Yeah, it's like, no, somebody has it worse than you. Definitely, you know, extremely. Worse. I feel like it'd be so yeah. easy to get caught up too, where you forget stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, like, bro, I, I ain't gonna lie. I need to call my grandma more, no, bro. Eight times. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, God. Um, nah, like some days I'll wake up, bro. As soon as you think of somebody, call them, let them know. Like one day I woke up, I was like, damn, like all this shit gonna end one day. I went through and texted every single family member in my phone and said, I love you. I hope you have a great day. I swear to God, half of them was like, are you good? Like checking on me. Yeah. And like at first it was, eh, that's funny, but like it's not because like that shouldn't be like irregular. Yeah. Like it shouldn't, yeah, they shouldn't real. think like, why well, need a saying it's like something gotta be wrong like no like I wanna just I'm showing you love type shit like mm. and that's that's when I realized like yeah now I gotta reach out to niggas more like I've been nah. thinking about it for the last couple of days for the whole weekend honestly I got this uncle his name Jim well James what you call shout him? out Uncle James. James oh god that's real and I was just thinking I was like damn like without him and that whole like era of my life and that side of the family like without him like kind of like taking me under his wing because like that's my grandfather's like brother mm -hmm. and my grandfather like I never got to meet my grandfather so like that's the closest thing I have to a grandfather like he is what I know and like he introduced me to a lot of shit man photography that family like that's the film making side of the family like we used to make films like make little skits and stuff on the DS like the, the game board and shit and yeah, photography, music, like, he's big on music. Like, he sung with my grandfather, and my grandfather used to sing and stuff like that. So I feel like without him in my life, I, you just don't get me today. Like, the renaissance man that I am today, you just don't get, like, all of that. Yeah, I complimented myself. But, that's real. But, uh, yeah, and I've been, like, meaning to call him and just be like, yo, like, Thank, thank you. you. Like, I just want to say thank you for everything. Like, without you, like, I just, I wouldn't be who I am today and like I still haven't gotten to it but like the thought just came into my mind nigga like, do it weekend. after we end this I, was just I also I also feel like we so a lot of times we feel to realize like although we're younger and we have parents or whatever like this is everybody's first time living yeah so yeah. like 
nobody's perfect. Nobody is just the wisest person on earth. And I feel like that blocks a lot of relationships because of emotional hardships. And now, you, now you never talk to them and blah, 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 blah. And I don't know, like, everybody's still learning and growing. So I can't, you can't really like 100% hard down fault somebody for being the way they are, acting the way they are. Because I mean, like, a lot of people don't know no better. A lot of, like everybody technically don't know no better. And you can't I feel change like people. Yeah. It's crazy exactly. to like meet different people. Like that's one thing I'm grateful for. At like just being at school, you meet so many different people. And like I'll sit there and like catch myself kind of like judging somebody, but then I had to think like, you know, I never, I don't know what they've been through. I don't know how their mom raised them. I don't know how their dad. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you could, it could be like the most minute thing. Did I use that word right? I don't yeah, know. small I, thing. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't never heard that be, word before. It could be like <laughs> shit like that, and then it's like altered their whole life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the smallest thing. Now you're a completely different person, and that's why I feel like nobody is the exact same. So when you see like people trying to be someone else, it kind of like damn, like bro, we are not the same. Like everybody's different, literally. But then, that way. but with saying that, it's also hard for me to grasp that everybody has their own life. Really? That's definitely hard. No, I see cars on <laughs> the highway. I'm like, bro, it's a nigga in that car. I don't even know him. He has a he whole has a life. family. I seen a nigga standing outside the building with a security guard suit on. I'm like, nigga, it's just no way you are a real person. Like, you gotta be just like... <laughs> like, you're a character in somebody's <laughs> life right now. You gotta you be that a nigga stud. with a podcast. <laughs> you that nigga with a podcast to somebody. Yeah, yeah but I document kind. my life though. So it's like, nigga, I got proof that I'm living this. So I'm, I'm, I'm saying, like, when you look at people, you're like, even, I think this is about white people mainly. Like, no, sorry, but like, <laughs> <laughs> their lives, like, bro, I really be wanting to, like, be white for a day just to see. Because, like, it's so see, different, right? Like, it's so different. Like, even just being in the elevator and hearing, like, other people that aren't me talk, it's like, what the fuck are they talking about? And it's like, Wow, like you have a life, my nigga. Like <laughs> Sally cheated on Sam yesterday. Like this is crazy. And like got with uh Becky the got, next uh, day. Oh like it's shit like that where it's like wow, like what I got going on is so small. It's a billion people in this world. I want to take it back to when you was like uh the judging part. Like I think people should understand like you're not perfect either. You have no like you have no stones to cast onto anyone else. Like I don't know if you remember, but like um. Uh, you got no feet to stand on. Trend birthday, like last year, not the one that just passed, but last year. Mm -hmm. uh, when we was at her dinner and her her friend was there, her friend, he's gay. Mm -hmm. He had came oh, up to us yeah. and he was like, just he just said, Thank y'all for not judging me. And Damn, not like treating sad. me no yeah, different. I'm just I, like, bro, I, I can't I can't judge I'm not, you, bro. Nobody, I, exactly. <laughs> ain't nobody to judge. Exactly. And that I, just yeah, like hit me. I was like, I remember Damn, that. like you really like this world is really wicked. Wicked, like, like people will really throw stones at somebody for them trying to be themselves and embrace how they truly feel. Cause why is that not normal? Gay? No, <laughs> no. Why is it not normal to not judge someone just because of the way they are? Wait, repeat like, that. Repeat that one more time. Like, why is it not normal to judge like, someone? Why is it not normal to not judge someone? Because a lot of people feel. I've been like, I, don't know. I think I but think it's, it's like been an innate like that thing from, for years. Like yeah. it's just like. Now we see it so often, like literally social media. Like you can see a nigga in New York being judged and bullied right now. So it's just more in your face. Like back then, like say you don't have a goddamn, you're not wearing purple. You're not royalty. Judge, you're a peasant. It's been like that. <laughs> I'm for real though. Like it's literally just been like that. It's, it's just more like heavily in your face now. And it's so many, and people are more louder. Like they're louder about being different. Back then, niggas didn't want to be different. They didn't want to be da da like I'm different from the rest. No, like now niggas love to be different. And I feel like that's what it is. Like that's sad though. I'm not gonna lie. If a gay nigga, would've... sorry. If a homosexual person walked up to me and was like, "Thank you for not judging me," like. Damn, big bro, like niggas out here judging you. Like, I wish life was easy, on God. Damn, man, Damn, it's six thirty. All right, because I know y'all had to shoot and shit. Yeah, my shoot's at seven, seven or seven thirty. So I'm with you. Cool as yours. Nah, it pushed it back to six thirty. All right, so we can wrap it up then. But I got, I got, I got. Just, I feel like we could, we could wrap it up with this one. All right. Let's so, um, with all the success that you had so far, what can we expect from you for? the rest of this year I like what you got planned uh I mean I really just want to focus on like balance like I feel like 
if I just remain uh remain balanced and at like my creative efforts, my school life, financially, like uh my re- personal relationships, like again reaching out to my dudes, reaching out to my dad, my grandma, like all that stuff plays a big role on your success because like you can when you have those when I have that simple conversation with my grandma, like now I feel like during the day like I gotta go hard. So like you know just simple stuff like that is like it, it's definitely necessary. So that's what I'm focused on right now, just balancing. I'm going to sort of just let everything flow. Of course, I have, like, financial goals and, like, career goals. But, like, I think that's, like, my main thing is, like, just staying level-headed. Like, yeah. I don't want to get lost in the sauce. Like, I feel like right now. <laughs> yeah, fact. Nah, for real. I feel like right now I'm, like, at a stage where, like, I'm trying to, like, recalibrate. Like, I feel like these past few months, I, even though I've been doing things that I know is successful for my brand and, like, my career, I feel like I sort of... uh I sort of been um, again that analogy of like you want to put yourself before the game, you want to play the game, put yourself before. I feel like I've been playing the game a little too hard, uh, so now I want to like get back and not saying I haven't been doing me, but like I want to get back to really like what's me, and then I'm not really caring about the game right now. Like I don't know, that's real. So yeah, that's really that. If you, I know I just talk, I just spoke in parables, but no, nah, if you go to the leave it out there for somebody to break down. Facts. Oh, Damn, he kind of just went. Like with the like, you know how we be like, uh, give a message to the viewer on the other side of the screen. Like some yeah. people want them to leave away with this video. What would y'all want them to leave away with this video? Oh, that's not me. Yeah, that's the last. <laughs> thing. I mean, you just said. I mean, basically, what you said was basically yours. I mean, unless you want to say something else, like you got some other advice to give to uh, future content creators or people that are in college that are going through hardships. But yeah, they wanna, you know. Stay true to yourself. Stay true to yourself. Uh, a lot of people be saying be yourself, but sometimes people don't know what them, themselves actually are. So mm. what, Message. What? <laughs> I like that uh, clip. Yeah, like I feel like you should stay true to yourself. So do whatever you want to do. If you want to be again on some rock star vibe today, and then be like a, a, a librarian tomorrow, and then tomorrow will be a hooper after that. Like if just be do whatever you want to do. Just stay true to yourself, but be malleable. Like do you? That's really my thing. You know, one thing I real sorry. I'll tell you after this. Um, what do I want to say? Caleb. What you mean? You can do it right. Everybody go up. Do it. That's how I feel right now. Can y'all burp um, on command? You gonna hear that beat, bro? Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like it hurts. <laughs> um, basically, dang, I kind of feel like I'd be saying the same thing. Let me think. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think what the fuck I'm about. I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna just say something quick and brief. Nipple was out for real. Yo, yo damn, son, say your chain. Damn, goddamn. I'm saying oh, for shout sure, out to two one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it short and brief. Um, have fun, but not too much fun. Enjoy your life. Uh, life is moving extremely quick. Um, time is waiting on no one. So make sure you enjoy and soak up the moment while you can. And another thing, I caught myself telling myself this the other day. Don't be too caught up in the future to where you don't enjoy the present. Because I, I often catch myself planning too much ahead and it's like... Not appreciating. I'm not, yeah, I'm not appreciating and I'm not, I'm not getting done, getting stuff done when needs to get done now because I'm so worried about what I need to do in the future and what's going to happen in the future. Yeah. Another one. Message. You got yours? Um, I would say, just so y'all get four different messages, hmm, be kind. I feel like... Um, Damn, like Stop. my dickhead. Like, can I speak on this, bro? I'm nice. I'm a nice person. Um, I would say like I challenge y'all to every every. Hmm, I be doing this to myself. Well, naturally I did, it, and then I realized like let me start doing this. But like, compliment people. Say something nice to somebody at least ten times a day, and your day will go so much better. I don't know why. I don't know you why. That energy out. Yeah, you put it like that's literally. Uh-huh. I talk to random people in the elevator. I know you, out of all people I know, are probably one of the most, like, outspoken people I know. So it's just like, in your energy, you like, y'all can see from the podcast, him sitting right here, he is bubbly. And that's like, because he put so much, in a good way, though, like, yeah. it's so much energy he put out. And I'm just like, you got to do shit like that. Talk to people you don't think you would ever talk to. Like, I see people in the elevator, I'm like, how was your day, bro? Nigga taught me a new word the other day. He said, so, I don't even remember it, but he was like, he said some outlandish ass shit. I'm like, dang, like, that's a crazy adjective. I'm going to steal that. Can't remember it, so I guess it don't matter. But, yeah, like, shit like that. Just talk to people, bro. Like, 
I feel like it's so hard now because we literally walk with headphones in and our phone in our pocket. Sometimes when I walk to class, I be like, let me just take my headphones out this one time. Let me put my phone in my pocket. You gotta do it. Like, just try it. Like, I be looking. Back like, then, I don't like, get on my phone. When you back. go to the park, bro, you walk past people and you're looking at them in the face. Now, like, it be feeling like we all just in our own world, and I feel like shit like that kind of sucks. Yeah, that's, that's kind of like that's kind of like NPC shit though. Like, <laughs> yeah, we at school, everybody headphones in, program to just go to class and go home. And it's normal. I feel like everybody wants like I definitely do have my music, but it's just like sometimes I'll be walking, I'll be like, dang, like. <laughs> It's like day 61 and like I don't even know this nigga <laughs> name. Like shit like that. But go ahead. Mm. All right. Come on, you gotta cook. Oh yeah, Cat Cat told me say say what's on my chain, man. Mr. 201. Shout out 201. Uh mm. control what you can control, man. I think I think that's really all that needs to be said. We got them. Hopefully that's you know, he's supposed to be coming on this bit too. 201. But yeah, man, just control what you can control. Don't control what you can't control. You feel what I'm saying? Slap. Just leave it at that. Don't stress about it. Don't stress about it, man. Live your life. This has been another great episode of the Almost Dropouts, man. We still rolling with this shit. One day we will have... Nah, I ain't gonna say that. I did say that shit earlier, though. One day I had the pleasure of actually dropping out. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, shit like like that pisses me off. (laughs) You, We two years deep. You gotta stay. Hey, good show to greet, huh? I'm Kai, man. Hostess with the mostest. You know what I mean? You got got now Phil. Yeah, yeah. You ain't even got to do too much. Y'all heard what I said the first time. Hmm. And you got Nia Paul to the left of Phil, a.k.a. Phil the Blazer, a.k.a. Okay. All, all that yeah. shit. I'm going to yeah. say it for him. Type and shit. we got a special, special guest, man. We appreciate you for coming through and dropping so much knowledge. Yes. Thank you, Cash K. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate, y'all. appreciate y'all for having me. For sure. Yeah, man, that was another Let's episode, man. Skin. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share this with whoever you want to share with, man. I hope y'all learned something today. Uh, yeah, man, we out. Shh.